Hello and welcome back to another vlog. Uh, this one is a little bit different because we're going to be talking about a specific product. But first of all, before we get on with that, we've been out skiing all day uh, in a very wet, snowy conditions. We then went back inside, hit the gym for a bit of a session. So I'm going to roll a few clips from that. Trying this yellow thing uh, that Jean, of course, can crush. So today really I want to talk to you about brushes and specifically Silly Goat Hold brushes. Now Silly Goat Hold is a company run by a man called Steve Good in the UK and he got hold of me ages ago. In fact I think we met at Quiff which is a competition in Sheffield and he had a chat, we sort of kept in touch and it's, it's gone on from there. Now Steve makes handmade brushes and they are true beautiful works of art. And very kindly he sent me a whole bunch the other day and I've been using them. Now, I'm not being paid or anything stupid like this, but I wanted to chat about them because for me, they're real quality and I like what Steve does. So Steve hand makes them. Uh, he gets all the wood from a local joiners and that wood would be thrown away, it would actually be burned. And he told me this story that when he was first trying to get the wood, he'd go in and say, look, can I buy the wood off you, these offcuts? And they'd be like, no, we'd just rather put them in the fire. So he spent months trying to get the guys on side and eventually they'd sell him these offcuts. So he gets them in very, very raw form, he shaves them down, he shapes them all by hand so every brush is going to be slightly different into different sizes. And there's a whole range of sizes from super big to super tiny and they've all got names to match. Now the brush head itself is made from boar's hair and it's made by a, a family really and it's their sixth generation of brush head builders. How cool is that? Imagine looking back through six generations of people and knowing where you've learned all your knowledge from. So they send Steve the brushes and then he puts the wood and the brush heads together to create the brushes. Now these things are very strong, although if you do manage to break them, send them back to Steve. And if you want the brush head re uh, replaced, he will replace them for you. But he said he's had 535 Jack the Lad brushes uh, in his time and only two have ever been sent back to have that brush head replaced. So it's, it's really impressive how powerful, how strong those brushes are. One thing I really like about them is they're all written, they're all hand signed. So he used to be writing people's names on by hand. He then moved to sort of a lazy etching, but then he got feedback that people preferred the hand method. So he started rewriting them again. And every single one of my brushes, it says my name, Matt, on the brush. And for some reason that makes me 
want to keep it, when it makes me look after it. And I'm bad with brushes, they do just go everywhere. And I'm, I'm not promising that I'm going to keep these brushes, although I am going to try. But because it's personal to me, it just makes a piece of equipment that should just be a tool feel special. And I like that about these brushes. Every time I pick one up, I feel like I've got Steve's sweat in my hands, like his effort, his passion go through those brushes and I get to use them. And for me, that's what a company is about. That what attracts me to a company. Now, these are quality items, but Steve hasn't got a website even to sell these things yet. He says he's working on them, but it's not there yet. How it works is it's word of mouth. People hearing about him, getting hold of him, and then asking him to make specific handmade brushes for them. Check him out on Instagram if you haven't already. Have a look at what he does and contact him on there. And even if you don't want to buy some brushes off the man, just drop a message and say hello, because I'm sure he'd appreciate it. It's small, it's niche, it's not a big corporation churning something out. And you know that when you buy these things, you're really getting something with a lot of passion put into it. So check Steve out, drop him a message, maybe order some brushes, make a fantastic Christmas present, and just say hello to the guy because he's a quality bloke doing quality work. I hope you enjoyed this slightly weird vlog, a bit of climbing footage, a bit of me chatting to you about something. And I hope you don't find this too silly because I don't want to just talk about products. I just want to talk about products, especially on my vlog that I really like and that I use. And silly go, I'm kind of finding special. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.